scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. How do I know that my doors are closed? Because there is no remembrance to bless you. There are many people like that. Every time it is time to bless and live, they are always forgotten. Elohim Madonai story many years ago I was praying from my little room and then my ceiling disappears and then I see this object this creature looking like a dragon kind of bulgy eyes gigantic eyes the size of a man's head will be one of the eye of that creature and it had a tail that was alive having its own life independent of the creature with red fiery eyes and he was looking at me and said so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was it hear me ladies and gentlemen people don't just remember you to bless you there are mysteries that you engage frowning your face and saying this person knows me and he has forgotten about me you are wasting your time you need to access by grace the keys there are many people who are in ministry under a close heaven, in business under a close heaven, close everything. And you can be well-meaning and sincere and find out that gates don't open. There are regions that have gates, professions have gates, anointings have gates. That's why a man can pray for you, but you have not done what opened the gate or the door that leads to his anointing you may even fall down and stand up the truth is nothing will work when it was time for Isaac to bless his sons he needed something that opens the gates of his anointing he said go and make me venison not anyone such as my soul loves there are rules for that flow of power the year of open doors the year of open doors opportunities unhindered now hear me i decided to just give a charge and not take time to teach we have a whole year to do that because we're getting into a serious prayer session now and please do not let the devil fool you this prayer is what will activate and release these anointings hallelujah Please look up. Every day has a door. 12 noon or 12 midnight is not what opens a day. No, sir. No. Just because your clock tells you 11.59 p.m., then the next minute you just say good morning. Physically, bah. But in the realm of the spirit, you will be surprised. Many people are still in next year. 
last year, last month, there is no forward movement. I wish what I were telling you were a lie. I would not come here and play games to such an intelligent people. Hmm. Hallelujah. It is not the passage of time that introduces next days. Remember, doors, midwife seasons, doors, midwife realms, doors, midwife faces and levels in life. You can be at the same level because a door that should open has not been opened. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When it was time for Lazarus to come forth, Jesus said, roll the stone. That door that has sealed his resurrection. Because if the door does not open, his resurrection will be useless. Open it. And when they rolled the stone away, he said, Lazarus, now you come forth. And then he said, lose him and let him go. I know you have business ideas, but is the door open? Just because you bought a shop or a store or a mall does not mean you are in business. There are doors. Why do you think they call certain people and even spirits gatekeepers? What are they keeping? Before Jesus started his ministry, Satan took him to a mountain and said, listen, you know better than I do. Look at the glories of the world. That means the glories of the world were not controlled by what happened there. The spirit that was in the madman in Gadara was what controlled the economy of the Gadarenes. The moment something happened to that man, the business in Gadara died immediately. There are people who are rising, it's not what they are selling. There has been doors that were opened through covenants in the spirit. Hallelujah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors. Listen to these stubborn gates and doors that the king of glory shall come in. Go to verse 8. It says, who is this king of glory? So don't think the doors will just open because you said it is a prophetic word. Even for Jesus, they ask a question. Who do you think you are? Ah, but I love the answer. There is no discussion there. Go back to verse 8. The Lord strong, not the Lord weak. If it is the Lord strong, then it must be the believer strong. If it is the Lord mighty, then it must be the believer mighty. If the Lord is mighty even in battle, then the believer will be in battle too. Our assignment in warfare, I have taught you, is to establish that which is finished. Our assignment in warfare is not to create a battle and fight with physical strength. Our warfare in this kingdom has to do with establishing that which is finished. And in the next few minutes, you are not going to be praying for someone else yet. This destiny, you are going to flog it out this first service. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen
let it be so that all doors open let it be so that I rise to realms unhindered let it be so in the name of Jesus that every closed door opens hear me how do you know that a door has opened restraint is lifted how do you know that a door has opened movement is now secured the hindrance is taken away restrictions in ministry restrictions in your home restrictions in your finances restrictions even in your spirit walk can i tell you the truth hear me ladies and gentlemen just because god has spoken i told you does not mean it will happen my bible is full of many things that god said that did not come to pass because those he said it to thought he was joking the bible says there remained a rest for the people of god is that true it says that in the day that you hear his voice harden not your hearts like they did in the wilderness don't hear what god is saying and say nonsense it may not happen and don't make the foolish decision that the man in samaria who the king leans upon said even if the the god will open the windows of heaven might this thing be for some of you in the place of prayer god will tell you that january will not come to an end until you are laughing already and you may not believe him because you look at your life surrounded with pain and shame and everything every time you are tempted to doubt remind yourself who spoke if it's just your neighbor or your friend who spoke or an unserious man of god who is not serious with the matters of the spirit then you may be afraid but if it's the god of heaven who spoke go and find out the things that he said that people believed and find out whether it did not come to pass he said by this time tomorrow we discussed this last year by this time tomorrow hallelujah we are going to engage prophecy in a few minutes we are going to pray seriously do not let the devil distract you it is in this prayer that your faith is released to be on course for the many great things as a ministry we have so many things this year by god's grace we're doing conferences in uk we're doing conferences in canada and the u.s there are many other things that we're doing we'll be announcing them uh, when we're done praying we we'll just do a bit of housekeeping before we're done so those of you i think we're starting with uk those of you in the united kingdom just prepare we're coming with the power and the life of jesus like you have never seen and um we're going to get the links and then we'll give it to you so that when it's time we'll start doing the registration. So make sure that your loved ones all across the United Kingdom, you know, London, um, all of the, the parts around London, Scotland, everywhere, you around Europe, including neighboring European countries. We're going to be converging there and lifting up the banner of the power, the grace of Jesus Christ, even across Europe. Under our watch, Europe will not be lost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revival comes with fire and with grace. And for the U.S., God has granted us open doors and we're coming there with power and grace. Power and grace to make our contributions as far as the prophetic manifestation of revival across the nations are concerned. And by the way, before we pray, I hope and trust that God will, I, I hope that God will grant me, um, I hope that, that I know that he's granted the grace and, and I'm saying this so that we all pray. I trust God for grace to do a lot of African nations this year. There is such a burden God has planted. In fact, even sincerely, even more than Europe and the US and uh, several of these continents, there is such a hunger I have emails and emails of Macedonian calls from across several African nations. Um, I don't want to mention names, but I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, for some of the nations, we've already given them word if they can come together and structure something serious. 
the challenge sometimes with many nations is that there's a lot of disorganization and um, it may not be able to work that way. So this may be a teaser already for some nations and for a few of the nations um, who are being hosted by the governments of the nations graciously. And so we're more than glad to lead them to their national days of prayer and all of the similar activities. There's a lot this year. We'll come up with that, hopefully, maybe during the miracle service next week. By the way, our first miracle service for 2023 is coming next week, Sunday. And it is going to be, look, it's going to be open doors all the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, open doors all the way. You will know truly that there is a God that sits in heaven. Hallelujah. God may look deceptfully slow, but when he decides to rise, when God decides to rise for your family, your ministry, your life, this year God is going to be placing glory and honor on people. You would see God place his hand that men will be called Beulah and Hephzibah. It, it will be clear that the hand of God has rested upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while we're praying, we're going to pray. Let me just give two instructions very quickly. Number one, there is the open door sticker. Let me just have it very quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just want to bless it. Now, we did a few things. We're not selling anything. And everything is absolutely free. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So this, this is my seed to the global family, Koinonia Global. We made, we, made, um, we made some exercise books like this to give, especially our children. We want our children to learn. No dull child will remain. You may come however you want, but provided you are here, in the name of Jesus, the mind of Christ must find expression. Our Koinonia children are not non-entities who are raising kings and queens in the name of Jesus. And please, it's important for every parent, speak this into your children. All these negative demonic words, the error for them is over. Don't program rubbish into the destiny of your children. Hallelujah. So this is what... Uh, the um the jotters look like we'll give as many uh, two designs beautifully designed but this is the one we have the open doors um the sticker and then jesus revealed jesus glorified <laughs> hallelujah then we have this now everybody here is going to be given to each um, while you are praying, for sake of time, as soon as I bless this, please, all, have you been given already? Okay, so let me just say this. My apologies. This I'm taking from our prayer time, please. A year of open doors is also a year to, be, to heed to instructions and to behave well. If already from the beginning of the year you are walking in disobedience, you already know that you are programming failure. Because in the body of Christ, no matter, sometimes... I don't know how well let me assume that that it is is different your case is different in Jesus name Amen. while you are praying the ushers will be passing this whatever they give to you just collect and focus on me and focus on Jesus don't look around saying there's somebody mm -mm, leave that one there is a where we're an organized ministry for God's sake and then our international people were sending some across the US UK so please be patient it, hallelujah be very patient those are international guests who are here some of them who are point people across certain nations will give a few copies look this is not about idolizing people have idolized speakers their stickers and all of that um, this does not carry any power on its own this is just a system we can bless it of course and it can carry the power of the Holy Spirit like I'm about to do but you know more than this, it will be an insult to all you have learned to suddenly begin to idolize stickers and books and all of that. Now, that does not mean that you can, 
not use it as a point of contact to, con to, to connect by faith. But I'm saying this up front because sometimes in a bid to show honor, it turns to idolatry and the life and the power that should come from it is thrown away. You see, there are some of you, if you want to run out and you forget this, you will run back and, no, please. No. I'm, not, I'm not mocking, I'm not being sarcastic, but I'm just telling you that God has granted us access to superior spiritual intelligence. This is for your edification, and of course, it is a prophetic standpoint, a, a prophetic um, medium, uh, handkerchiefs and aprons were brought to the body from the body of Peter, and so you'll be surprised that this, by faith, will heal someone. But the point is, whatever happens, just know that this is revealing Jesus. And if it fails to reveal Jesus, and the only person it reveals is Joshua Selman or Koinonia, then we failed. We are only tools. Jesus is the one who should be revealed and glorified. Are we together? But having said that, nothing leaves this altar ordinary that i can tell you you ask the devil after you receive this you you can be sure that in the name of jesus within the boundary of scripture you can be sure that god will anoint you to work wonders so can we pray together stretch your hands and let's just speak over this as a family of faith father in the name of jesus you have granted us the privilege to do this we release it to Koinonia Global and to the body of Christ. We pray that it will draw many to Jesus and Lord that it will please you to use it as platforms for healings, deliverances in very tremendous ways. We thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the privilege of God's grace, we dedicate this in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit All right so God bless you please ushers um, you can begin to give it around let we'll do it in an orderly manner please when yours comes to you just receive and then be patient if for any reason we have more than enough more than enough more than enough at least for now the first set of the production is already about 32,000 so be patient everybody is going to get i know that some of you may want to get for some other people no problem at the end of the service you can politely make a request with the ushers or the pr and they will help you and then for those who may will you want to carry it and give people please do not sell there is nothing here that is not the jotas not the exercise books there is nothing that is for sale everything is being paid for it is my gift jesus through me to you that are we together so i'm saying this right now we will not fail to take any decisive action once we hear that people are trying to take advantage of people's liberty it shouldn't be and i believe azaria family by the way let's appreciate azaria family they are connecting right away and um so we're going to pray now praise god are you ready to pray Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he. Go ahead and pray in the spirit for a minute or two. Shapako sata pranda gebeleko shata fraska gebeleko. Shapra de gebareto skapra de shalakato pranda sedebelekato. Someone is praying all across the globe. Please pray. Following by way of television internet and all our social media platforms connecting the spirit right now it's a year of open doors pray and say lord i believe lord i believe lord i believe i believe your word lord i believe i believe your word So 
someone is praying declare that I believe I believe your word it shall be unto me according to your speakings in the name of Jesus it shall be unto me according to your word in the name of Jesus hear me now I want you to begin to call every month by name and declare it open every month a fata january be open february be open is someone praying open your mouth down to december january be open in the name of jesus february be open march be open april be open may be open june be open july be open august be open September be open, October be open, November be open, December be open, 2023 be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Scaprante capato cosco to prex, e crente pecatos cotto prende scata, che prechete legete pronto scotto prechete paracatos. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open, be open, be open, be open. I decree and declare every month, be open. Deliver that which is locked up within you. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this year of open doors, I prophesy over my life and destiny open open your mouth and begin to pray decree and declare mention every door you know command it to open all doors all doors they break it back at us marital doors financial doors ministerial doors business doors health doors the door your mind the doors to your influence the doors of kingdom service the doors to greater anointing the doors to revelation someone is praying all doors open all doors open all doors open all doors open someone is praying all doors open all doors open in the name of jesus the son of the living god all doors all doors all doors i insist all doors someone insists in a place of prayer all doors outside all the overflows make sure you are praying zaria make sure you are praying our global family all who are connected pray all doors open all doors open open hallelujah hallelujah now hear me please hear me 
I'm going to lead you to make a declaration. The moment you make that declaration, you are at liberty if you want to turn to the east, the south, the west, because we are going to speak to all the, the prophetic regions, the four corner regions. He said, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. Not one wind, not one direction. Four is the number of balance and stability. You are going to declare whether it's the north, south, east, and west. In the name of Jesus, everywhere this door is, I prophesy to those directions, you must open. Say in Jesus' name. I decree and declare. Northern doors. Southern doors. Eastern doors. Western doors. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Be open. Now. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Declare over every region. Spiritually and geographically. Someone is stretching your hands. To the north. You are declaring by the spirit. Northern doors. Hear the word of the Lord. Southern doors. Hear the word of the Lord. Eastern doors. Hear the word of the Lord. Western doors. Even in the spirit. Ephata. Be open. Ephata. Be open. Ephata. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Prophesy. Be open. The four winds breathe upon this land in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Let the winds be open. Let the doors be open. in Jesus name I pray shout this say every spirit stand in my way as a closed door I decree and declare the Lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray every spirit Every hindrance that stands as a spirit, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you for a great door and an effectual is open up to me. But many are the adversaries. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Spirits of delay, backwardness, retrogression, failure at the edge of breakthrough. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. 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 You're going to prophesy over your hands and your feet. Listen. You see, the hands and the feet are two mysteries in the Bible. When they caught Peter, they did not tie his eyes. They tied his hands and his feet. Because these are your instruments for movement and motion. When you tie a man's hand and you tie a man's feet, you have tied his ability to be strong and demonstrate strength and also his ability to make progress. 
you are going to pray over the works of your hands and pray over your feet listen the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord that you are not going to do one leg forward and ten steps backward and you are going to pray whatever has made the works of your hands to keep recycling shame and pain you are going to cause it right now is someone ready to pray say in the name of jesus my hands you carry the blessing upon you my feet you carry the blessing upon you therefore i release you for my progress open your mouth and begin to pray your hands as a preacher as a businessman as a politician as a career person I prophesy my hands my feet will lead me to progress by the Spirit of the Living God I go forward not around I go forward I go forward every step being a greater one someone declare Declare, declare. Forward, forward, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't be tired of praying. We are activating this grace. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Do you believe in prosperity? Because we are going to pray now. And ask that the door that is restricting you from entering the place God has earmarked for your blessing. Believe me when I tell you until it says, thou has caused men to ride upon our heads. We, we went through fire and through water, but thou causes us to come into a wealthy place. I can tell you, when the blessing is not manifested in your life as prosperity it will interrupt many useful things in your life poverty can be a door that stops you from going forward many great things you want to build you want to make progress some of you want to partner with the house of god like never before but this demon spirit of poverty there are many conferences many outreaches many things to do for the kingdom there are many pastors in ministry they are limited they are owing they are in debt there are many business people some of you what you used to do before in terms of blessing others you no longer can do it that door must be cleared out of the way it takes more than a good heart to be a blessing remember your commitment number four that you will be a blessing this year believe me it takes resources you've heard me say the name of Jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up for the nations to see if you are going to live a life of integrity and dignity and decorum especially as a minister of the gospel that you are not playing pranks and manipulating people you will need to access the supplies of heaven Someone say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Financial, doors Financial doors open. Op open up your mouth and pray. Financial doors open. Ideas, insights, access to light, doors of value open doors of strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open someone is praying strategic relationships open financial doors 
open financial doors open hallelujah listen hear me believers let me tell you the truth right from the one in this ministry I'm not ashamed I'm not one of those preachers that play games over I hate poverty it is clear I will never like it I will never teach it I will never endorse it I know the destructive effect of not having economic power to a people to a territory to a nation you you embrace a life of poverty and mediocrity no matter the spiritual explanation you are on your way to not doing much for the kingdom what we manage is lost and exiting Christ out of your pursuit for wealth when your pursuit for wealth becomes a, an appetite for the gratification of the flesh it compromises on your spiritual life your passion for God and it is not used as a tool to reveal him now we will frown at that but not that resources please don't there are many of you your children need to get out of some schools into other schools if you mean well for their future are we together you send your child to a school he returns back as if he's a demon asking you questions that even as an adult you cannot sleep but it takes resources there are many people today who cannot lead many to Jesus because the resources are not there. I vowed a vow that I will never lead the people who are only spiritual. I believe in the power of influence. And you cannot be around the corridors of influence being poor. Settle it once and for all that poverty is of the devil. If you love Jesus and you love his purposes, you will embrace the blessings of the Lord. We are very outspoken about Jesus being exalted above everything. But please hear me, Africa. Let's be delivered from this demon that has kept us and wrapped up through the guise of religion to keep people poor. And then at the same time, advocating prosperity from a, a standpoint that does not glorify Jesus, a standpoint that is a marketing of the flesh, that leads people to stealing, killing, and destroying, all to prove that their faith is working. This is not what I'm saying. That is absolute nonsense. We are teaching wealth and increase with a heart that is stayed on God and prosperity in your hand that has a mission. This is what we are advocating. But as for poverty, you will not find it here till Jesus comes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two more prayer points. Are you tired? Please. You are going to pray that the doors of strategic and prophetic relationships be opened. Listen, listen, listen. In Luke 11, when the man was in trouble, he went to his friend's house. You don't go to an enemy's house to ask for help. That means you have to first have a friend before that friend can help you. Is that true? There are many of us who are suffering alone as if you were exempted from any from the death you know the sacrifice of jesus simply because you have not mastered the art of trusting great and valuable relationships this is the year where god has to connect you strategically to people all blessings come from god through men to men my friend I have had some visitors, even though it's late. Please, can you bend over backwards for my sake? There is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Let me tell you, we live in days now where it is only God that can bring men to you. By the time you use your eyes and your brain, you are going to spend your life recycling pain. You need to pray and say, Father, I don't know what door is closing my strategic relationships that includes destiny helpers and i've taught you that there are four kinds of destiny helpers never forget number one divine connectors number two men and women of influence number three gifted men number four burden bearers you need these four people in your life say in the name of jesus shout it again say in the name of jesus father i decree and I declare 
that the doors of strategic destiny relationships be open up to me open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray someone is praying strategic relationships strategic relationships business relationships ministry relationships marital relationships career relationships someone pray there are relationships that if and when introduced to your life can become the ladder that elevates you to heights unimagined when Jonah entered a boat, people lost their properties and almost lost their lives. When Jesus entered a boat, they were preserved. Pray! Doors of relationships be open. Doors of relationships be open. Strategic relationships. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have one more prayer, but it just occurred to me now that when we pray that one prayer, I'll we'll add one more. We have to pray for Nigeria. We have to pray for Nigeria. Hallelujah. Growing up, we were made to sing the national anthem and the national pledge. And we said many powerful things in those anthems that burnt in our hearts. Today, we have many people who do not understand the value and the power of nationhood. Thank God for very visionary leaders and people who are, you know, making these great contributions to help build a sense of leadership and decorum. It is the assignment, listen to me, it is the assignment of the church to pray that any nation they find themselves is a pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are going to pray. Elections are by the corner. We are only weeks away. And as it has been before now, every time is the moment of election, you find deaths, all kinds of things. I don't care who comes into power. If people die, it's not worth it. We have to first pray that God will preserve lives. Nobody who comes into power has the power to bring, to bring the breadwinner of a woman whose son, if the woman, the widow at Nain had lost her husband and now her only son had died. She didn't care whether it was Jesus who was coming, she was mourning until Jesus came and solved her problem. Listen to me. We have, we hopefully by the miracle service will take more time to pray, but the, I don't, do politics I don't do partisan politics there are people in every party in this in koinonia and fatherhood is your father to everybody I've prayed for people across every party even some I don't even know they existed I see prayed that's my job are we together now but I will tell you this listen carefully listen carefully please we're going to pray we have to pray for three things number one that God will help us and that his will will be done for this nation we are tired of a lot of rubbish and nonsense in this nation. Are we together? Number two, this is my personal observation, and I'm saying this to the body of Christ. Our emphasis seems to have been only on presidency. We are making a big mistake. No, there is no single president without the support of visionary governors, house members who can do well. That the illusion that it doesn't matter who comes into power, Nigeria will magically change is a joke. Nigeria is a democracy, it's a composite. There are 774 local governments, every one of them manned by leaders. And I can tell you, even if Lot is a good man, if he's surrounded by a place like Sodom and Gomorrah, he will still be ineffective. So the prayer, our attention seems to be on only the presidency. And I understand the dynamics of politics. I'm a Nigerian. But then we must extend our prayer to all the 36 states, all the senatorial zones, the, you know, the local governments and all of that, down to the counselor. 
if a counselor is a thief, he has contributed to the, tr the trouble in this, in this nation. Don't say what he stole is small. Stealing is still stealing. Are we together? Yes. Now, I'm saying this on air and I'm being very careful. I'm not, I have profound respect for the body of Christ and all the voices across the body of Christ, but I want you to listen to this. Please listen. And there's a reason why I'm saying this. I've seen many things about the election. Ethically, I don't come out to just, I respect God, I respect this ministry, and I respect myself too. Are we together? But I can tell you, there are two warnings, and I want you to quote me. I saw this in a vision. Media houses, be careful. This is one of the things I saw in my vision. I've prayed over it, but I saw serious problem coming because of mismanagement of commu effective communication across media houses, both social media and this. Let us be careful, and my encouragement to media people is act with no prejudices and biases and with the highest level of professionalism um, available for the sake of the citizens. I believe that people have their personal bi biases and, and, and everybody is allowed to do so, but there are mistakes that the media has been making for a long time and it's not brought a national repercussion. But I fear that if we do not take out time and those who head media houses, if there are any here, I know we have one or two, it's my word of caution lovingly to you and then across the body of Christ. Media houses, let us be careful because what I saw was a problem that evolved from media. Praise God. Us is to pray, but media, we have to be careful what we report. I believe there are systems and structures that govern mass communication. And as much as possible, I'm lending my voice on behalf of many who mean well for this nation to see that we do the needful with wisdom and intelligence. And that also means that those who man several social media platforms, whether personal or corporate, we must be able to fear God and love this nation more than the ability to drive traffic to our personal pages. Don't just sell conflict and sell nonsense because you are desperate for traffic and you do not care the repercussion that comes from people. Are we together? If you cause somebody pain and you make gain from it, you will not sleep well. It's a law. Are we together? So I'm saying this, I, I owe it to make my own contribution as much as God has granted grace. Authority has jurisdiction. We have fathers of faith in this nation. And I'm a man of God, but we have been trained enough to have spiritual intelligence. There are things that is not us that will speak. The fathers have a voice that is greater than us. Let them do the speaking. Us as sons is to make our own contribution as much as possible. And this is something men of God need to learn. I'm saying it to especially my generation of men of God. Don't think just because you saw and heard, you come and stand and speak. In every house, there is authority structure. Even among the demons, it was one person who spoke on behalf of the rest. Let's behave ourselves in the body of Christ so we do not make a fool out of the anointing. Now we owe a duty, everybody owes a duty to communicate whatever he heard and saw. But when you are speaking, I told you that influence is a very delicate commodity. You can use it to destroy people. Let us try, let's show the body of Christ and our nation that as men of God we were trained. Let's not come out like people from the wilderness with no decorum. It is not everything you see that you say. There are, the Bible says Mary kept these things to herself. The ability to keep things because according to scripture, it says a word spoken in due season. There is a due season for every word. So I'm encouraging you, respectfully speaking, fellow colleagues, you know, and, and different co-laborers in the vineyard, let us manage especially communication of prophecies. I by no means devalue or de I'll bring disdain to any man of God communicating any prophetic word. No, I am for the body of Christ. I hold every man of God as much as God grants grace in the esteem that is due their grace and the anointing. But this, I am saying it that we need to learn. Let us be contributors to nation building and not destroy because of the, the itch to show we are accurate. The desire 
to have a nation that is built with intelligence and godliness should be greater than a man of God trying to show that he is great. Are we together? Let's pray for Nigeria. Please rise up on your feet. Mm. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. We decree and declare. Over Nigeria, over Nigeria. We, declare peace, we declare peace we declare tranquility, we declare tranquility. and we declare that the election will be violence free in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray peace tranquility violence free election that if there are any plans for bloodshed to waste lives and destinies we pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will speak against demonic forces that may want to work against the well-being of Nigerians we pray for all Nigerians Christians Muslims traditionalists in the name of Jesus we pray all together there must be peace in this nation and as touching the election we declare that the purposes of God will be established over our nation we desire progress we desire advancement in the mighty name of Jesus the son of the living God pray for the presidential election pray for the gubernatorial election pray for the Senate Pray for the House of Assembly, you know, counsel us all of the, the tears of government. Let's pray that God himself will bring people into this nation on seat and on board. That will drive this nation to a place of prosperity, unity, peace and progress. Like our national anthem says, that the labor of our heroes past should not be in vain. free from violence we pray and we declare over the six geopolitical zones there must be peace in this nation no bloodshed no killing no violence no destruction of lives and property in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now in the last prayer point we're going to pray for koinonia this is a ministry that we are all part of. This is not one man's ministry and we're participating, no. Koinonia is everybody's business and everybody's concern. Hallelujah. I told you that in this ministry there are no fans. Uh -uh. Fans don't have an inheritance. It is people who connect. We may be far and wide across the many nations and continents, but love, covenant and understanding has bound us together as a global family while it is true that we are sent to the body of christ but it is fair that we look inwards and pray for this our jerusalem you're going to pray for koinonia right now whether you are watching from europe you're watching from america from across africa this is a gift that god gave to the nations even at such a time as this we are going to pray and cry father the, the fire of revival salvation transformation miracles signs and wonders it will never go down in this ministry open your mouth and please pray pray like you are praying for yourself pray like you are praying for your children pray like you are praying for that which God committed to your hands you are part of this vision make sure you pray father high level spirituality this will be a place where spiritual men are made mentored taught doctrine guided by the spirit this is a ministry that will continue to function by the influence of the spirit this is Bethel the place of bread the place of the word this remains a place of excellence a place of character in the name of Jesus 
a place of the manifestation of the power of God in unprecedented dimensions to heal, to deliver, to set free in the name of Jesus. The fire of revival from this house will engulf the nations of the earth and we declare all the meetings this year, the koinonia meetings, the apostolic and prophetic meetings across this nation, across the African nations and the continents of the earth. In the name of Jesus, there are moments of encounter, moments of salvation, moments of transformation. We will bring healing to governments, healing to nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray over the teachings that in the name of Jesus, they are anointed afresh. The teachings will mentor kings. The teaching will mentor nations. The teachings will be tools for revival, tools for healing, transformation. Many will come to Jesus through these teachings. Pray for all the sons and daughters in ministry connected to this vision. In the name of Jesus, they are excelling. In the name of Jesus, they are excelling. Pray for all the fathers that bless and speak over this ministry. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will keep and preserve them for our sake. To keep speaking over our lives as we rise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for all the businesses in this ministry. They will not fail. Pray for all the organizations in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke to Peter and said, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, he says, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. We have prayed for koinonia. The meaning of that is that everything in your life because you are part of this vision everything must answer to that prayer Amen. koinonia cannot go up and you go down koinonia cannot go forward and you go backward i decree and declare in the name of jesus we all rise together in the name of jesus we all shine together in the name of jesus we all reveal jesus together for in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So I welcome you to 2023, the year of open doors. In Jesus' name. Please stand, everybody. Please stand. I'm going to make an altar call. Then I'm going to bring two very important announcements that I want us to please listen to and then we're done for the service. Please be patient. This is the year that I want you to minimize. I know that there are crowds of people and one service is approaching the end. Many people want to rush to reach for cars and the rest, but just be patient. We're mindful of you and for a few minutes, it is important to do this. Our number one assignment is to see that we bring many to righteousness. There are people here, here at this first Koinonia service, 2023, this year of open doors. The first door God is opening for you is the door to encounter Jesus. In fact, Jesus said this about himself. He said, I am the door to the sheep. Someone came to church tonight crying and saying, Apostle, I don't want to leave the way I came. I confess that I have not made Jesus my Lord and Savior. And for someone you are saying, I remember getting born again, but as it is right now, my life is not intact with Jesus and I want to start on a good note. You may be inside this auditorium, all the overflows to the basement outside, or maybe following online from across Zaria and any center. You can't believe how many viewing centers people have created from their homes and from several. There are churches, there are groups that just put viewing centers to air koinonia. For all of those people, may God bless you and honor you for helping people to experience this. Now, I want to make this call very quickly. I'll count one to five. Wherever you are, you need Jesus. There's no point hiding. There is no waiting for someone to be the first to come out. This is an opportunity. Remember, you can reject an open door. Don't make the mistake of the five virgins. They wasted time 
and by the time they would come the door was closed there is hope to him that is alive and now Jesus is calling you wherever you are as I count one to five very boldly I want you to leave your seat and come and stand right in front here one koinonia give them a God a good God bless you as they come 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 two come don't say someone is looking at me there's none of their business this is between you and Jesus come apostle I want to come but I'm ashamed remember Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men that I will be ashamed of you before my father this is a house and a family that loves you so passionately come three if you are coming please rush please rush very quickly all those who are coming from the various overflows you may move to your LED screens for sake of time and for those who are making this decision those in Zaria you can move to the front of the stage and across the viewing centers around is possible to indicate by lifting your hand or even just coming to you know the front of your TV screen or whatever it is that you're using as a platform to view Jesus wants to give you a new beginning for as long as I'm alive and for as long as this ministry remains we will never compromise on leading and helping people experience Jesus thank you very much for all of you who have come thank you for this noble decision I salute you young and old for the courage to stand before Jesus and to make this decision he said ye must be born again may I please request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender unto Jesus and say these words after me you're joining them please join them very quickly as we pray say Lord Jesus I see a few people coming let me give you five or six seconds please rush quickly 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 join them God bless you now I'll repeat the prayer so we'll catch up but let me just make a general announcement next time when we make an altar call please for all those who are coming do well to pick your bags your Bibles and everything you came to church with for the sake of uh, the security of your property so that you don't return back and find valuables missing for those who are in front here and all who are connecting please lift your right hand again say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the Son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I am saved I am a child of God amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones thank you because no man can come to you except you draw him to yourself you have drawn these ones and they have responded based on the integrity of scripture I declare their sins forgiven and I decree and declare unto you that a new start, a new beginning starts for you tonight. The power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken over your life. You will go from glory to glory, grace to grace. In Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen. Let me please request that you move to my right. You will see a group of counselors waving their hands at you. Let's celebrate them. They will have a word with you very, very quickly and then you will be back. This is the best you can do, Koinonia. Celebrate them very quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, please help me appreciate my family. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes 
are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.